in my recent Sephora VIB haul, every pretty much other comment was asking how I did my eye makeup and you guys wanted a tutorial. You know that tutorials aren't, aren't really my thing. There are makeup artists and professionals who do much better tutorials on YouTube, but I thought I would just kind of recreate the look getting ready with you in a more informal way and just show you how I did my eye makeup. I did my face already just to avoid time and I'll tell you what I use on my face, but primarily this is just gonna be a how to, I guess, on how I did my eyes. I used purple in that video, which I think is why so many of you asked because it is something you don't normally see on me. But I actually am a big fan of purple eyeshadow. I guess if it's done correctly. And it's really fun and I feel like it's changed my whole mood when I wear it and I've since been really experimenting and using dark eyeshadow every day. Alternatively to the light, drabby, neutral, safe colors that I normally do. So if you guys wanna see how I did my eyes in that video, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the star of the show, which is this IT Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Celebrations palette. I talked all about IT Cosmetics. If you missed that video, I'll link it in the description box below. But in that video, I talked about how much I adore this palette and I've been using every single color, especially the dark ones, which is so not like me. Usually when I get a matte or a neutral shadow palette, I stick to the, the safe colors, but recently I've just been so enjoying the dark colors. In that video, the main color I used was this purple, which is Sugar Plum, which looks amazing if you have brown eyes, but I really think purple looks good on anyone, especially green eyes too. Yesterday, I used the Starry Night, which is a really pretty, like, smoky gray navy, and I used that in conjunction with Coal, which is a black, and it was, I loved it. It was like, I think I'm going to definitely, I have a holiday party coming up and I'm definitely going to be using those two together for a really nice nighttime smoky eye that's not your traditional black. I love that. I've really been enjoying this hot cocoa color, the really deep brown and mixing that up with the spice as well. It's just so fun. But for this video, for this look today, I'm going to stick to purple because that's what you guys have been asking for and that is what I had on in that video. So I just prime my eyes with this little bitty sample from Urban Decay and put this down as my base. The shadows, aside from them being really gorgeous and really soft and blendable, they stay on your face all day long. You don't have to worry about them fading. So if you do have some kind of holiday party or event and you don't wanna to have to worry about your eyeshadow fading so that you can do your makeup earlier on in the day for a party later on, this is Perfect. Starting out with Sugar Plum, which is the purple in the palette, and I'm using a flat brush. This one is the MAC 213, and I'm going to kind of load up my brush, top off any excess, and just go on the outer half and kind of into that socket line, and then as the color kind of comes off the brush, I'm going to move towards the inner eye a little bit and just deposit a little bit of color with the darkest color you want on the outside. I'm going to do the other side and I kind of find that by doing both eyes kind of at the same time, only when I'm using dark colors. If I was using light colors, I just do one eye at a time. But when I'm using dark colors and I want to kind of make sure that the eye look is symmetrical, works best. So you can make sure that you're coming in far enough with the dark color and you're not going in too far on one eye and not on the other. It's harder to fix once it's done. So then I'm going to take another brush. This is another um, MAC limited edition palette or brush kit and I'm going to use Warm Wishes which is a really pretty kind of neutrally pink mauve color and put that on the inner part of my eye and also kind of blend it with the purple on the crease. Keep that inner part of your eye really light and bright. And then join them in the middle. Go back with the purple if you need to. Okay, then I'm gonna just take a clean blending brush. This is my favorite one from Bodyography. I don't think they make it anymore. And just blend the edges so that it's soft I'm not really pulling the color up any further, just blending around. I already did my eye, my um, not my eye makeup, my face makeup. I already did it just to save time. And it's weird because I usually do my eyes first. You guys know that just to avoid fallout and messes. But 
like I said, to save on time. Okay. Next, we're going in with my favorite color in the palette, I told you in that video, is Miracle, and it's this reddish brown, really pretty, almost, almost has a little bit of pink to it, and I'm going to kind of put this right at the edge of where the purple ends and kind of blend it upwards, so it's kind of right on the brow bone. And this will warm up your brow bone, it'll make it a smoother transition up to the brow, and it actually lifts your eye as well, which is really nice. It makes it look a little bit more open. Okay, and then right underneath the brow, I'm just going to use Snow Angel, which is the most nude under the brow, just to finish it off. For liner, I'm using a black liner. This is one from Ico. It's the I Do Liquid Liner. I think it's what it's called. It's a felt tip pen and it's really nice. The company sent me a bunch of their stuff to try and I've been dying to try this because I've, been always, I've always heard really great things about it, especially when you compare it to like the Stila Stay All Day pen, which I have. I kind of like this a little bit better. The tip is a little bit thicker than Stila and it's not as flimsy. The Stila one is a little bit too thin and therefore it gets kind of flimsy. I just feel like I have a little bit more control with this one than the other one, so. This really boosts your lashes up. And then underneath my eyes before I put any liner, I'm gonna take that Miracle color, the color that I used to blend out and just put a little bit of that. Right before I filmed this and I was, I took a shower. When I got out of the shower, I tried those Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Pads for the first time. Holy cow, I feel like I almost gave myself like a glycolic peel or something. I liked it though. Here's the Hello Lashes Mascara. I really liked it, I just wasn't expecting it. I, I was kind of expecting similar to the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. I had a credit on Rue La La. I didn't really see anything I liked that brand was on and so I thought what the heck I'll try it and I asked on Twitter and a lot of you recommended his alpha beta pads so I thought this might be kind of cool to see how they compare to the first aid beauty one since I've really been enjoying those and I really feel like the products are very different like the first aid beauty ones are more of like an exfoliator I feel like whereas these was kind of like it felt like a treatment the first aid beauty pads you can use after each time that you cleanse as like a overall, I kind of sometimes use that in place of my Lush toner, whereas the alpha beta pads, I feel like those are kind of like a once a week treatment for your skin. I feel like if you did it every day it would probably irritate your skin and dry you out a little bit. But I just wasn't expecting like the tingly woo, universal brow pencil just fill in the spaces And done. I'm gonna put on some concealer because when you're doing your eyes really dark, I think it's really important to make sure your under eye is really bright. So this one is the Bye Bye Under Eye and this is in the shade Light. And as I said in that video about it cosmetics, a little bit goes a long, long way. You don't need a lot. So I'm just going to dab, dab, dab a little bit. The stuff is awesome. Like once it sets, it does not move and it's kind of hard to do anything else like it sets and there's just nothing left behind which is awesome okay so eyes are done next I'm gonna just warm up my face just to let you know what I put on before I started filming I used the let me think the Polish Choice Daily Defense Moisturizer that's slightly tinted for my SPF. And then on top of that, I use the Mali Primer to kind of minimize my pores. I didn't put it all over, just like here, here, and here where I have the largest pores. 
And then over top that, I used my Makeup Forever HD because that was actually the foundation that I used in that video. And what else? I did not set it with any kind of setting powder. And I think that's it, Makeup Forever HD. I used a little bit of the creamy concealer from NARS on some spots on my face. And that's it. I'm almost done with the Smooth Harmony from MAC Beauty Powder, which has actually kind of been my bronzer. And I'm going to use this to just warm up my cheekbones and overall my face because it's starting to look a little flat since my foundation and concealer went on. This is a NARS Yachio brush, which I think is a great bronzer brush when you want like a subtle bronze or a subtle glow on your face. It's not going to put the product down too much. I'm going to use Hourglass's Mood Exposure. In the video, I was using Don't Be Shy from MAC, which is discontinued, so I didn't think it would kind of be fair to show it. This one is really pretty. It's almost like a... It's almost like a combination if you took Miracle and Warm Wishes from the palette. Let me just show you side by side. It's kind of like the same similar colors, which is why I wanted to use this. And it's a really pretty color if you want to skip the contour because it's almost like a bronzy rose, like a bronzy pink. So when I do this um, color on my cheeks, I don't put a contour because then it just looks a little bit too intense. I think this is a really pretty color for fall and it goes really nice with the eye makeup that I just did. Okay, I am blotting off my lips. I forgot to tell you, I just had on a little bit of the Lip Vitality um, lip balm when I started the video, just for a moisturizer. And in that video, I was using MAC Whirl Pencil. That's all. I didn't put any um, lipstick or gloss or anything else like that. I just had the liner, which is a really pretty color and it leaves behind an awesome stain that lasts a good amount of time. This is a pencil, so it can tend to feel drying. I just use a little bit of Aquaphor or Balm or something to just kind of moisten my lips if I need to. But it's state. Not have to worry about it. And as a finishing touch, I've been obsessed with this, which again is so not like me because I'm usually not someone that uses any kind of setting powders, especially like the silica powders or the finishing powders. But... This came with a puff and I wasn't really too keen on using it, but I have found a new love for my Sephora Platinum 55 brush. This is actually called the Airbrush brush. And I used to use this for liquid foundation, but I have found that with a finishing powder, such as the Bye Bye Pores from It Cosmetics, or you could even use the MAC one. I think Makeup Forever makes one. Every company has a white translucent finishing powder nowadays. These together, deadly combination. You don't need a lot of it at all. I just swirl a little bit into the cap, which is, look at the powder. You can see that. And go right over your cheeks just to soften the color and the lines. Anywhere you have pores naturally that you want to minimize. And this brush feels wonderful on your skin. It just feels so good. An amazing brush to set your powder. It's awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I did you proud and this is exactly what you were looking for and you are someone that tends to go for the safe colors in a palette that contains some darker ones. I hope that you will reach a little out of your comfort zone. You might actually end up like me and really enjoy using the darker colors. I, I kind of love them and I think it's just because I've been so used to just wearing neutrals and light colors and... Don't get me wrong, I still like those colors. They're still safe, they're still they're still comfortable for me, but I feel like lately I'm just really enjoying the color, especially with the holidays and parties and events. I think it's really fun to experiment with darker eyes and it just completely changes your whole look and I feel like your whole mood. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you'll give this a try. Thanks so much for getting ready with me and I'll talk to you later, bye. Every other link you can link a charm onto. You just open up the clasp and slip the charm on. You can rearrange your charms, you can add to your charms, you can take away charms.